September 21st, 1987. Yeah. It's been one year since I first Why went inside that today? house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Most of the things I do have been approved by the Vatican. WSD, arrow keys, or left, okay. Okay. Yeah, I know how moving in games work. Face demons and cast them out with the space key. the range. Alright, very good. New game. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is, dude. But I'm glad I have my 2080 Ti. Classical music. Am I supposed to go up here or what? You never stood a chance. Fucking ring, dude. Corruption, power, my poor You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m., 4 p.m. Directions turn right at the 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Is this is straight past the well? It doesn't say what the fuck you're supposed to do. La Casa. It's locked. Alright, let's unlock it. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. Their inscriptions on the grave stones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. State of Connecticut Historical Society. I got you, homie. Am 
Am I looping? Fucking tried it. I caught some people walking through the woods or around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Oh, I could use a rifle. I'm loving the silk, I think, for two years, man. Soul 69. He came from the side and they want me to Marcus. fucking react? Mortis. Demon buys down and says, currently making some cheeseburgers, enjoying the little games. Enjoy, sir. I had a fat burger today, man. Fucking amazing. Alright. I understand now. It's permadeath, dude. Fucking Mortis. I'm out of here. We gotta find the key for the. Uh, I guess we go up. Suffer. No. Oh, I died over here. I remember now. I died over here. <laughs> Martin's house lies about a hundred yards of the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father already seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. The headlights I saw an old shed off to the right of the park path. Father already explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Gundam key. Fucking bitch. Did it save? I saw a save symbol. Satan. 
Now where was this fucking house? Up here? I feel like it was up here. Fuck is this house? I'm fucking lost, dude. Where's this fucking house? Oh, it's here. It's here. To the right and up, right? I was here. Fuck off. Up or yeah? Uh, there was some purple guy in the window. Fucking A. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greet, greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explained that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was... It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Right. Hello? Monkeyes? Alright, any jumpers? Prepare yourself. Well, they said the basement, so I'm guessing we're going to the basement. What's this? Mate? Oh, Nate. Was this a frog? Up we go. Hello. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic where I got up there. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon, 
During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the ride again. What is this? Bob must be stained. Sorry, sta stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Dead. <laughs> Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about work. Ing at the clinic. Yo, I'm a fucking exorcisting all this shit. Alright. Okay, okay. We have to go through here, I guess. Baiting me, man. Miss legendary text. Shut up. There's nothing here. I checked everything. Go in basement. I can't fucking go in the basement. This this door over here is not the basement, is it? Oh, maybe it is. It looks like a, a back door, a kitchen door. I can't, regardless. Oh shit, down here, bottom right. The fuck is this supposed to be? Can I move this? What is this? Why is there a fucking random gate in the middle of the fucking basement? Is it a crib? Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my my day hearing from you. Or oh, day hearing from you. Not even a comma. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice. Quimbamwo. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I guess. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of pagan religion, of course. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no. But I have prayed to San La Muerte. San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house and, according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte. And the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. Uh, we told him he could pray to God. And that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Laberte. 
Uh, who's alive? I've seen too many movies. Oh, these fuckers. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Miss Martin was hysterical and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out but that managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming mother mother the whole time. Finally I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Alred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh shit. Am I supposed to leave? She spawned in my ass, dude. Alright, at least we got a checkpoint. He is here. Can I can I fucking expect to patrol him her or what? Let's find out. Come get me, bitch. I'm fucking ready. Daddy. Fuck is this game about? Wait, what is this? More this. I just I just leave the house. Fuck this bitch. What what am I doing in this house? Out of here, dude. 4chan, not many crash, 4chan, not many crash, 4chan, not many crash, 4chan, not many crash. Only users with network can hear this. Here. And 
I'm out of here. You'll never see me again. Fucking rush B. Suka. Fuck you. Peace. Am I out of here, though? I feel like I'm out of here. Go to the attic? Th there is no attic. I can't get in there. Wait. I don't understand what the fuck to do with her. Am I supposed to do something to her? Cause she's fucking... Invulnerable, man. I fucking try going to the basement. Fucking tried. Was the first thing I tried. Ah! What the fuck? Peace. What do you mean line her up? I don't know what the fuck that means, line- Oh wait, now there are different signs here. What does that mean? I don't fucking- Per bear, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. Fucking Mortis. That's very kind of you, sir. Back a root over three years. Nice, very nice. Dream the diamond e batch, man. I'm fucking speedrunning this bitch. You'll never see me again. What do you mean, line them up, dude? I don't know what the fuck that means. Line them up. Now what? What the fuck does line them up mean, dude? Can't fucking line them up. Fucking dispel it never room. Did they reappear in the room if I dispelled them? Yeah, what the fuck is this game about, dude? Those reflexes were fucking through the roof. Alright, door opened upstairs. That must be the attic.
Just whip out your rinsey, dinky, DLC, holy water gun, and pump it full of the Lord. I don't have the DLC, man. I'm not very fond of pay to win add ons. The church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A, f a year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with. What the fuck? When I confronted her, she blank managed to cut the power to the house and blank her own parents with their own blank i have to go back to that house the nightmares i'm having are real she's still here there waiting for me i can still help her if i don't come back no i lost the cunt flip per beer 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 My god, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. Is it finished? You died, priest! Am I shooting or what? The fuck I'm fucking Boy, hitting her with the fucking expected patronum, dude. Why? Am I just supposed to dodge it, maybe? Who's dodging it, dude? The fuck is this game about? Fuck! So hard. They have fucking Dark Souls boss, dude. Fuck. What the fuck now? That's a fucking DVD logo, man. I 
be greedy with the dips. Okay. I, can't, I can't hit her when she's playing me like this. Fun. She's not even aiming for me, she's just fucking randomly. Ah, fuck. More this. She didn't wait for the fucking fuse this time. She didn't wait for the fucking fuse. Man, what the fuck? Sick dips right now. Sick as dips, dude. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah! Who does that? You, you never bounce that many times. Trying to min max the fucking dips. Is that a fucking joke? What the fuck is this? Shit. She tricked me with the fourth one again. Oh, I'm Boy, so bald, yeah. dude.
time bouncing now. Fucking Christ, dude. Yeah, what now? Fuck. This one has a face now. Or did it always have a face? Save the cheerleaders, save the world, right? Tutorial over. Her ass is over. Kill her. Uh, okay. I mean, is she in the backyard or? Wait, no. She came out there at the very top, right? So I guess we're just like hunting. Hey big guy, the sun is getting real low. Shut up. I'm not mad. Fuck you, motherfucker. Force and smash. The fuck? sound like faint raining sound in game? I thought it was in real life. It was in game. Wait, what? Ending 5 out of 5? I would guess that's the best ending. Five out of five. It's the hardest one to get. Animal experts investigate Chupacabra. 
remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal which some residents are calling a chupacabra were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. It if it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that has escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented on commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets. A vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Minus 10. Do you like Imagine Dragons? Imagine dragging yourself through the valley of the shadow of death, only to find a homeless man streaming the American sounds to thousands of people as they pay him ten dollars to pass a donation wall. Also yeah. suck my balls. Shoot the girl now? Yeah, I don't know where the fucking girl is. Where is she? North? No, the window is here where she fell out. Look, it's broken. Back of the house? It's not back of the house. This is the window. I'm going down to the basement. She's not here. <laughs> Unlucky, dude. Unlucky boy. A boy. Shoot the picture. Bruh. She's not here, right? She went out the fucking window, right? You had to find her somewhere, all right? Fucking Christ, dude. All right, we fucking bait this shit now. Oh!